Good evening. This is Luke Thomas Holmquist here at the Earthquake Forecast Center. It's 6.15 in the evening on Saturday, June 12th, 2021. And we have a situation in uh, California. We have an earthquake warning for that area. We had a, uh, let's look at this closer here. And we'll go over to the current situation as far as the uh, earthquakes in California. And move this around here, okay. 2.4 just hit right now, just now in uh, Parkfield. And that may be the area where uh, this strong earthquake is gonna hit in California. We have a warning out for the area from San Francisco Bay to Los Angeles. This is the 13th into the 14th. And this forecast is the 14th into the 15th. However, the overall risk is higher tomorrow, the 13th to the 14th, centered on the Parkfield, Coalinga, uh, northwest of LA here, centered in the Coalinga area um, on the 13th into the 14th. So that's most likely where this quake is gonna hit is somewhere between San Francisco Bay and LA. However, anywhere between San Francisco Bay and Los Angeles is where this quake is gonna hit on the 13th into the 14th. And then the risk continues very high on the 14th into the 15th from Coalinga Parkfield down to uh, Los Angeles over to Ridgecrest and along the Garlock Fault as well there. And the San Andreas runs right through here. So uh, the warning is a 6.5, 7.5 is likely in California most likely from San Francisco Bay to Los Angeles. And the, uh, once again, the highest risk is in the Coalinga Park field to Northwest of LA area. That's the highest risk right there. And uh, then on the 14th and the 15th, the highest risk is from Coalinga Park field down to Northwest uh, Los Angeles and the Los Angeles area to Ridgecrest as well. So uh, we had a, a, a strong peak and um, we had the risk graph out uh, showing a, uh, a peak on the uh, 5th of June and there was a 5.3 on that. And then the San, uh, the San Francisco graph showed a peak on the 4th, which was the two 5.9s that hit off the Northwest coast. And then the, the spike in risk for the 5th produced a 5.3 down near the Salton Sea. And then there was a very strong peak on the 7th of June and only a 4.1 uh, hit on that quake. So this uh, risk is extremely built up and strong. It should have something, a 6.6 .6 earthquake at least should have hit in the area Northwest of Los Angeles during that spike in risk. However, we have another strong uh, trigger event coming up uh, the 13th which is uh, Sunday into Monday uh, is when the strong earthquake should hit. Sunday or Monday in, uh, in that area near Coalinga Parkfield or it's from San Francisco to LA. So if you're in that area, please be on alert tonight, actually through, through the 14th and the 15th, when this moves into the 14th and 15th, it moves more near Los Angeles at that time. But right now the strongest, uh, risk level is from San Francisco to LA centered around the Coalinga Parkfield area. But anywhere in this dark red area here is where that strong earthquake is gonna occur uh, on the 13th or 14th. And again, very high risk on the 14th and 15th as well. And, uh, and you can kind of find out where you live and, and see where that risk level is on this map here. All right, so we have a, a huge swarm down here near the Salton Sea and that continues. Uh, yesterday we had a 4.1 and a 4.6 down degraded to 4.3 and a bunch of quakes there. Over 340 quakes now across California during the last 24 hours. And this 2.4 right there, you see that red uh, circle there, that's a 2.4 that hit in Parkfield. And that's a likely spot for this quake to occur that we're uh, warning about, Parkfield, Coalinga, 13th into the 14th. All right, let's look at uh, some of the forecasts around the world. And we'll go to uh, Alaska first, Anchorage, Alaska. Before this, uh, these spikes in risk here, there was a very strong 
uh, peak, and that produced a 6.1. Now we have this a smaller spike in risk here that produced a 3.7. This one is uh, right now on the 12th, and this one is on the 16th. All right, and in Chile, the uh, risk on the 11th and into the 12th was across the north near Antofagasta and Iquique, which is up here. And uh, let's go to that area right now and, and see what's going on over there. And you can see there's the two most significant quakes, a 5.1 right here occurred uh, southwest of Santiago, Chile, and the other 4.6 hit up here northeast of Antofagasta. So the 4.6 hit up in this high risk area here and the 5.1 earthquake hit uh, southwest of Santiago in this uh, moderately high risk over here. All right, in Italy, let's look at the Italy forecast. And uh, pretty quiet across Italy right now on the 11th and the 12th. 12th into the 13th, just a uh, moderate risk in the north. 13th into the 14th, we have a, what, a 60 or so percent risk near uh, Naples. So pretty quiet overall across Italy. Oh, Japan, however, is much different. We have a very strong peak coming up here in risk on the uh, 14th into the 16th. This spike in risk is on the 16th. This one's on the 14th. So anytime between the 14th and 16th, a very uh, a strong earthquake, a 6.0 earthquake is possible in the uh, Tokyo area. This area is centered just northwest of Tokyo. Here's Tokyo, just northwest of Tokyo is where that quake should hit on the 14th through the 16th. And this is interesting too. Look at this map here, the 13th into the 14th. If we go over to that area, you'll see that a 4.2 earthquake hit near Sapporo. And we had mentioned this in the video, last video. That's where the risk was hanging out. And here it is right here high risk in uh, the Sapporo Hokkaido area. And that high risk area produced a 4.2 in that area. And now the risk is moving into the Tokyo area on the 14th and the 15th. And you can see the, uh, the risk graph here is very high risk on the 14th into the 16th. And that's the Tokyo graph. And uh, there you can see it right there. So a 6.0 earthquake is possible in the Tokyo area on the 14th and the 15th. Uh, if you have friends over there, let them know about that. In the Philippines, um, moderate risk in the far north and in the far south. And there again, 75% in the north on this uh, forecast, the 12th and the 13th. And the 13th into the 14th, the southeast and the far north part of Philippines is a high risk. In uh, Greece, it's the 11th and the 12th. We have a high risk up near uh, Istanbul. Let's see what's going on over there right now. Pretty quiet as far as the earthquakes right now. So uh, high risk across the Northeast and the 11th into the 12th, the 12th into the 13th, the risk is down near Crete, 13th into the 14th, uh, here's Athens right here, Southeast of Athens and Northwest of Crete is where the risk is on the 13th into the 14th. Hawaii, the risk is uh, in the Southeast, just a moderate risk in the South East of the country of Hawaii on the 11th, 12th, 12th and 13th and the 13th and 14th, just a moderate risk in the South. And in Central America, we'll go to the Costa Rica forecast here. You can see the risk is uh, just south of Guatemala over to Nicaragua. And if we look at the, uh, some quakes that have been uh, popping off over there, uh, most of them are right here. The biggest one was this 4.5, and that occurred southwest of Guatemala, right about in here, moderately high risk across this area. And then on the 13th and the 14th, tomorrow, the risk is quite high in northern Guatemala. All right, Indonesia. Indonesia, you can see the, uh, this actually produced a, let me check on that real quick. I think that produced a significant quake on the, yes, it did. 
5.1 hit that warning area in southern Sumatra, right here northeast of this little island here, right there in that high risk area, the 5.1 hit there during that forecast period. Now the 12th into the 13th, right now it's the, uh, it's the morning of the 13th over there. So a similar hot spot right there in that uh, same area. And then on the 13th into the 14th in the far northern part of Sumatra is the risk there. Okay, in uh, Taiwan, the risk is up near the northern part of Ryukyu Islands on the 11th to the 12th, actually it's the 13th over there right now. And uh, Okinawa, the risk is uh, moderate across that area on the 12th into the 13th. 13th into the 14th, the risk is still uh, moderately high across the northern Ryukyu Islands on, uh, in Taiwan. And Washington forecast, um, 11th to the 12th. These forecast maps are, uh, uh, this risk is a little bit too high in this area. I have to fix that, but uh, the overall risk, you can check these out at quakeprediction.com. Click on the uh, Seattle forecast. And that's where the risk is right now across um, 11th and the 12th. We're still in this Northeast uh, Oregon and uh, Central Oregon on the 12th and the 13th and Southeast Oregon on the 13th and the 14th. And Turkey forecast. North central Turkey, a moderately high risk on the 11th and the 12th, 12th and the 13th, northeast Turkey, and 12th, 13th and the 14th, around Syria and Iraq is where the high risk is, um, centered uh, in southeast Turkey and Syria and northern Iraq on the 13th and the 14th. The Caribbean forecast, the risk is centered. Um, near Southeast Puerto Rico right now and Northern Venezuela, the 12th into the 13th, just east of uh, Puerto Rico and Northeast of Puerto Rico on the 13th into the 14th. You can go to quakeprediction.com and check out all these maps. And in New Zealand, New Zealand is uh, off the Northern coast on the 11th to 12th, 12th and 13th, still in the Northeast 13th and 14th off the northern coast of New Zealand on the 13th and the 14th. And one more map, the Peru and Ecuador. Um, the risk is centered across the far north, north central and northeast right now. Still up there on the 12th and the 13th. And then the 13th and the 14th, still in the northeast part of Peru. Right now it's uh, centered in Northern Peru and off the coast of Lima. All right, let's go look at the uh, California forecast once more here. And uh, we just had a, a 2.4 earthquake that hit near Parkfield. That is the area where most likely where this quake will occur. Uh, 6.5 to 7.5 earthquake is likely in California most likely between San Francisco Bay and Los Angeles near Coalinga Park Field. That's where it's most likely to hit. However, it could hit anywhere from San Francisco Bay to, to Los Angeles uh, dur during the next uh, 36 hours or so, 13th into the 14th, and actually the 48 hours. And then the risk shifts to uh, Los Angeles, Coalinga Park Field to Ridgecrest, and the Garlock Fault and the San Andreas along there on the 14th and 15th. So it's going to be interesting to see where, where these quakes occur. The highest risk and is that is built up right now is uh, in the Koalinga Parkfield area. So that's sort of where it should hit. However, the risk, like I said, is uh, very high from San Francisco Bay to LA. So be on alert, let your family know. This is the uh, second significant risk in uh, across California. The last peak produced a 5.9 off of Northwest California and a 5.3 in the Salton Sea. This risk level is actually higher. The overall unit level was 45, 49, 48 to 49 units was the highest level risk. This is at 52 uh, 
units of risk across this area. So very high risk across across the Coalinga Park Field, San Francisco Bay to LA during the next 36 to 48 hours. Please let your friends and family know about this. And we, uh, we will get some uh, strong earthquakes in that area during the next uh, 36 to 48 hours. So be prepared for that. And we will be back. Uh, if there is a quake, we will update you on that. But uh, thanks for following here at quakeprediction.com. Earthquake research since uh, 2005, over 16 years of research and 165,000 followers on our Facebook and Twitter pages. And uh, thanks to every one of you and uh, you've made it successful for all of us. And uh, thank you. And we will talk to you, stay safe in California, strong earthquake there. Also, the uh, Tokyo earthquake is gonna be a very strong earthquake on the 14th, 15th or 16th. Uh, most likely on the 14th and the 15th. Uh, a 6.0 earthquake is not out of the question in the Tokyo area uh, uh, during that morning period on the 14th into the 15th. So if you have friends that live over in Tokyo as well, uh, strong quake there in California on the 14th and 15th, strong quake in California on the 13th into the 14th. So we will talk to you later. And uh, God bless and stay safe. And we will see you soon and uh, be prepared for this strong earthquake in California.